Hey Premier Buddies, I wanted to take a look at using some of the AE Juice transitions in Premier. Okay, here's one. A little light wipe. Here's another one. Okay, I've got a little whoosh here. Right. Then I've got a little graphical transition and I'm finally ending with a little... Okay, a little filling the screen with a graphic at the end. And these are very easy to use. Let's put a couple of transitions on. So if I go to the uh, window and I go to extensions, AE Juice Pack Manager. Okay, and the first one I used was the from the pack Seamless Transitions. So I'll put some links in the... Uh, so this is from the I Want It All pack. Okay, so you've got all, all these kind of zooms. So let's let's try this one. So I'll put the cursor where I want it, and um, which one show you? So you've got like over a hundred in here, well over a hundred. You see, and you've got a little preview for all of them. Okay, so you've got like whip pans, and zooms, and flips, and light transitions. Okay, so well, I'll start with the light transitions. Let's go with one of those. So let's just hit this. Okay, and that's going to download. There we go. Okay, and if I just double click on this. Okay, it opens as a motion graphics template. I've got all kinds of settings I can change. Okay, so I can add extra things. And let's try a different one. Let's go to uh, here. Okay, so let's go and pick something similar to what I had before. Okay, which was a kind of zoom. So I'll scroll, see how many there is. Let's have a look. And uh, all the way down, so it was one of these. Okay, let's try, let's try this one. Again, just hit the download button. So this one also comes with the sound effect. Okay, so let's try one of those graphical transitions. So that's the monster transitions pack. Again, from the same kind of uh, I want it all package. All uh, right, so, so let's try this and just download that. Okay, and the trick with this is you want to get it where it covers the screen to be where the transition is. So a little tip is to put a marker here and then align that marker with the actual transition and then you'll get a nice... There you go, as easy as that. Okay, and again, I can change the colors in here. And then finally, I did one where I put it on the outside, just kind of filling the screen at the end, which was something like, I think it was this one, yeah. So let's just download that. There it is. And there's my ending, and I can add some graphics to that. And it's very simple to do. So I'll post a link to the AE Juice and there's a little uh, discount there that you can use. So uh, give it a go. Cheers.